real quick review on this pressure washer from Beaver. All right, so we got here the pressure washer. I just put this on here temporarily. There's screws to put that on. Basically, all you need to do is screw the handle on. You've got these uh, screws here. You've got a pretty long extension cord, and this is a 30 foot um, pressure line. It has this style for the gun, which is a little different than some of them. You just push this in, and then you can just kind of shove that in there, and then release it. So the gun's removable, so it has that, and it has this style set up here. I don't know if this is universal or not. Um, it seems to be a little bit different than my other one, so there might be a way to buy a hose with this style if you wanted to put a longer hose on it. Um, you're going to do some, do some measuring for that. Um, but it does come with the, one of these soap dispenser. I have my own. Uh, this also comes with a spinner tip, which is kind of handy if you need to take off any peeling paint or something like that. Kind of handy. This isn't really the rig for that though, guys. If you want that, you need a really big gas unit, like 13 horsepower, 9 horsepower minimum for that. And you know, this is not going to do that, okay? It doesn't do that kind of volume. But this thing's great for washing cars. Now, I've been without one for a couple weeks uh, because my other one went out. I liked this Giraffe Tools one because it had a retractable hose. But be honest here, it kinked once. The hose broke. I can't replace it. There's no way to do it. So it just, it's a boat anchor at this point. So... It's time for it to go. This thing broke from the sun. Obviously these things just don't last. Um, so I'm gonna just go with one that, you know, I know it's not gonna last either really, but at least, um, you know, I'm not paying as much as one of these were. These were like 300 bucks. So um, this one here, it's out of here. These are pretty inexpensive. Check the link in the description. Nowhere near the price of the other one. So. Yeah, you know, eventually it's it's going to last for so long, but it's so great for washing cars. If you really want to save water, you have a little pressure washer like this. Uh, I've been without it. Like I said, I've washed a few cars, and I use 10 times as much water washing with that, with just a hose, than I do with this. Even with the little spray nozzle and all that. This thing, and, and I'm able to use pressure to knock off some of the bird crap and other items that are on the cars as they get dirty. So we're going to take a look, maybe wash that car up here in a minute and set this thing up over there. Things to watch out for on these is the ones with too short of a line. You really need at least 30 feet for it to be effective. So you can walk all the way around your vehicle. You're not going to go all the way around it, but you can go halfway around and halfway around without having to move this thing because that's always a pain. Let's see if it does that. So your soap dispenser hooks right up to here. You just twist this off and then you twist this guy on way back in here. I won't be using that because I have this foam cannon that goes on the regular disconnect. So I use that instead. And then your tips kind of go on here. Pull it back. Need two hands. Lock it in, make sure it's always locked in. And let's see how it goes. Yeah, pretty good pressure. Not too bad for an electric unit. Yeah, that works pretty good. Perfect for washing cars. And look at how less little water you use. I mean, you can wash a whole car with just a few gallons of water. Uh, you can literally save so much money and time using one of these to wash your car. It's not even funny. Alright, so watch me wash this thing. I'm going to speed it up a bit, but you will see the time because you can put all the foam on, all the, all the soap on at once, brush it down real quick with a scrub brush, and be done in literally minutes versus, you know, the other way. Yeah, you know, using a scrub brush doesn't work quite as good as using a rag, but 
you know if you're in a hurry i mean i have 14 cars trying to wash all those things and keep them clean literally could just be full-time job so i have to do it very quickly so this thing solves that problem maybe it'll be work for you Another couple quick notes I want to tell you before we end this. Uh, this thing works fantastic. And one thing I notice is it's right here, right next to where I'm working. The line is the perfect length for doing a car. You can do a car, VW bus, even a full-size car with this and get around it pretty well without having to move it. That's one of the key things. Oh, dirt biker's getting it again. We're in the helicopter. Uh, anyway, so another thing is it's pretty quiet. Can you hear it? The helicopter is louder than it is. So it's it's supposed to be some new quiet te technology. It's not like silent, but it is half the noise that this old sucker made. Really, about half the noise level. And so it's a lot easier on your ears. Um, it shuts off really good. I mean, it, it doesn't put out enough pressure really to damage your paint as far as, I mean, unless you have damaged paint already, but it does get off some of the, like I got a little spot there that I couldn't get off. It's been a little while since I've washed. I usually, if I stay on it by doing it the method I use and I don't let it get too dirty, then it cleans them off really easily. And uh, I don't have really any any issues. So yeah, it works great. Fairly quiet. I mean, and the hose has some sort of like a I don't know. It's it it doesn't want to kink. Okay, you get some of those really cheap ones with the really cheap pressure washer, from like the Harbor Freight one. And it has a plastic hose, and those plastic hoses a lot of times they want to kink. And this one, you can kind of pull it around around the tire, and it doesn't want to get caught, which is nice, okay? So it's got some good things about it. I really like it. It's super cool. Um, yeah, I would definitely buy one of these versus the other. Uh, if I had the choice to do it again, I think this is where direction I would go on this. And like I said, there's very little in price between... Um, the manufacturers than the other. This is probably one of their better ones they have. They have a cheaper one. If you're looking for a little less pressure, maybe that's okay. But honestly, this isn't a lot of pressure, okay? I can go right into the paint like that and it doesn't hurt it. So as long as it's adhered properly, you know, if your paint peels off, it's not because of this thing. It's probably because it wasn't applied correctly. Because this thing does not put out that much pressure, really. I mean, it puts out pressure, but not enough water volume to really pull off paint and stuff like that. So it's not really good for, like, pressure washing your house to remove peeling paint. It'd be okay to clean it. If you want to use it for that, we're great. Um, there's a lot of uses you could use it for. But for me, it's washing cars, and that's where it's going to live right there. I'm just going to roll this little 30-foot thing up and stick it on top of that thing. And maybe I'll put that uh, nose over it to keep it from getting sun. That's about it for me. So anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed this. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. It's definitely on the buy list. I'll talk to you later.